the top 10 best vlogging cameras for 2022. These are not what you'd expect. The best vlogging cameras are those which are simple to use and produce sharp, stable videos. A good camera can take your vlogs to the next level. In this video, we'll be looking at the top 10 vlogging cameras that you can buy right now. Welcome back to Gadget Impact. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and enjoy the content, and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Turn on the bell icon to receive notifications about all of our upcoming videos. The Amazon affiliate links for the products are given in the description below. Stay tuned till the end to find out the most exciting camera. Now, let's start our video. At number 1, we have the Sony ZV-1. The Sony ZV-1 is the best small vlogging camera available. Its combination of a bright lens, excellent autofocus and design tweaks makes it a strong pocket video camera. It's suitable for those looking for super smooth walking footage. Even though it has many stabilization issues, the ZV-1 remains the best video all-rounder in its weight class. It combines all of the best features of the Sony's RX100 series. It features a microphone port and autofocus as well as a bright 24-70mm f1.8-2.8 lens like the RX100. Sony's latest real-time tracking and IAF are available in this model, and the ZF-1 also has a surprising amount of depth for a compact camera, including a built-in ND filter and color grading profiles. At number 2, we have the DJI Pocket 2. With the Pocket 2's combination of a 3-axis gimbal and solid face tracking, it's suitable for those who shoot a lot of walk and style clips. In comparison to the Osmo Pocket, the DJI Pocket 2 has a larger sensor, a brighter lens, improved microphones, and a wider field of view. It features a 64MP sensor, which has been upgraded from 12MP on the DJI Osmo Pocket. A much larger 1 to 1.7 inch sensor has also surpassed the 1 to 2.3 inch sensor on the Osmo Pocket on the new DJI Pocket 2. The new Pocket has a 93 degree field of view, up from the original's 80 degrees. Traditional focal length measurements range from 26mm to 20mm. Vlogging is a term that will frequently appear when discussing the Pocket 2. Next up at number 3, we have the Panasonic Lumix GH6. The 25.2MP GH6 is the new flagship in Panasonic's Lumix G range of mirrorless interchangeable lens cameras based on the Micro Four Thirds mount and it packs a dizzying array of movie capabilities into its small body. There's 5.7K video at 60 frames per second, Apple ProRes 422 HQ recording, 7.5 stops of in-body image stabilization, 4-channel XLR audio recording, and a tiltable monitor. Given the popularity of full-frame cameras among filmmakers right now, some may wonder whether a micro four-thirds camera like the GH6 remains an appealing proposition. Micro Four Thirds cameras are typically smaller, lighter, and less expensive. Furthermore, because the sensor is smaller, it's easier to stabilize. At number 4, we have the Fujifilm X-S10. The Fujifilm X-S10 is the cheapest and best all-round mirrorless camera. It's the current top pick for video creators in terms of quality and value for money. When combined with the XC 15-45mm kit lens, this is an excellent vlogging setup. It can record uncropped 4K to 30p video, has in-body image stabilization to smooth out handheld jitters, and has a very angle screen that rotates to face you. On top of that, it has some great retro styling and great comfortable grip, making it a great hybrid option for shooting stills as well. Coming in at number 5, we have the Sony ZV-E10. The ZV-E10 may be your best option. The ZV-E10 uses the same 24.2MP APS-C CMOS sensor as many of its A6000 series siblings. When compared to its smaller sensor competitors, it has a large sensor that produces impressive video and photo quality for the price, especially in low light. However, when you pan quickly, it suffers from rolling shutter issues, otherwise known as the jello effect. Still, there's an electronic steady shot to smooth out handheld jitters, as well as great software features like the ZV-1's product showcase. 
The autofocus on the ZV-E10 is also best in class at this price, so if you don't mind the limitations mentioned above and want the flexibility of interchangeable lenses, it's a great new option for vloggers. At number 6, we have the Nikon Z30. The Nikon Z30 is a small APS-C camera aimed mainly at beginning vloggers. With no viewfinder, it relies entirely on a variable angle touchscreen. Even despite its small stature, tests revealed that a generous grip made the Z30 easy to use even when self-shooting. The 3.0 inch display was also easy to operate. When you flip it for vlogging, the camera goes into selfie mode, tracking your face with sticky autofocus. Nikon's APS-C lens lineup is still limited, but the 16-50mm kit lens is exceptionally sharp. In addition, because the Z30 records across the entire width of the sensor, you can take advantage of the lens's full field of view. When EVR is turned off, the Z30 can shoot uncropped 4K 30p and HD 120p video. With a variety of color profiles and thoughtful touches like a tally lamp, the Z30 appears to be a capable offering for inexperienced creators. At number 7, we have the GoPro Hero 10 Black. The GoPro Hero 10 Black does not reinvent the action camera with the same small sensor, screens and shell as the GoPro Hero 9 Black before it. However, it provides a more refined experience than its predecessor, making it most versatile action camera available for daring vloggers. The new GP2 processor ensures a polished performance, while a snappier touchscreen interface and menu system make it much more easier and simple to use. The chip boosts 5K quality for 60fps for smoother vlogs, whilst 4K at up to 120fps enables sharper, slow motion footage for enthralling cut scenes. Stabilization is also improved with the Hyper Smooth 4.0 and Horizon Leveling included for ultra stable footage. The GoPro Hero 10 Black emerges as a clear winner if you ever need a high quality video in challenging conditions, even if the budget rivals offer better value. At number 8 we have the Panasonic GH5 Mark II. The original Panasonic GH5 became a legend due to its combination of class-leading 4K video specs and a small, affordable body with IBIS. With the Panasonic GH6 being the true upgrade to the GH5 in terms of video quality, live streaming is the GH5 Mark II's main focus, and it works very well. The G5 Mark II autofocus is still behind the best, and the streaming service quality is limited to 1080p, but it's perfectly serviceable in most situations, and the camera's other specs make it one of the best vlogging cameras around, especially if you want to dabble with the live element. Coming in at number 9, we have the Fujifilm X-T200. The Fujifilm X-T200 is an appealing entry-level camera with a lot to offer to vloggers. The X-T200 features the familiar retro styling of the X-Series, as well as the 24.2MP APS-C sensor that captures uncropped 4K video at 30p by downsampling from 6K footage. While the X-T200 can record 1080p video at up to 120 frames per second, the new HDR video mode is only available at 60 frames per second. The 3.5-inch Vary Angle touchscreen is incredibly sharp and makes framing a breeze, whilst a 3.5mm mini stereo input and USB-C port added much-needed versatility. Unfortunately, subject tracking isn't available for video, but the X-T200 is still a versatile and capable vlogging option and one of the best at its price. And finally at number 10, we have the DJI Action 2. The DJI Action 2 is unlike any other action camera, and if you don't mind recording relatively short clips, aka think 5 minutes at a time, its tiny, modular form factor is ideal for on-the-go vloggers. If you want to see yourself in the frame whilst recording, you'll need to purchase the Dual Screen Combo Bundle, which includes an additional magnetic module that snaps onto the base block and provides a front-facing screen. The modular design of the Action 2 means that you can always remove it and turn it back into a wearable 6-4G camera. 
Despite its small size, the Action 2's camera has a larger 1 to 1.7 sensor than the GoPro Hero 10 Black, and the quality of its 4K video in daylight conditions absolutely impresses us. This camera module is also waterproof down to 10 meters on its own, though it's worth noting that additional modules aren't waterproof without a case. And that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave us a like and tell us your thoughts about these cameras in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining us today and for your continued support. For those of you who aren't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and ring the bell icon to keep updated on all of our upcoming videos. That's all for today, see you next time.